Hey guys, we are back again. We're going to be doing Frida today. I'm super excited. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Let's get into it. Awesome. All right, so we've got our piece of paper here. Um, if you have a watercolor paper or printer paper, it doesn't really matter, even a canvas. Um, you just might have to layer a little bit more paint, but we're going to sketch first. I'm using a pen, but I want you guys to use a pencil and do it quite lightly. But I'm using pen so you can see the lines um, on the video. So we've also got um, some paints today. I've got a brown, a pink. I've got a white, um, orange, light green, a yellow, a dark green, and some black here. And that's pretty much what we'll be using today. Alrighty, and I've also got my water um, and three brushes, a big one, medium one, a little smally. I like the medium, and I think I'll probably use that most today. And then I've got my paint palette, and um, I'm going to be putting the white paint in that one and mixing and making lighter colors. Alrighty, so we're going to do a grid on our paper. Um, do your pencil very lightly, but I'm going to use the pen so you can see. And we're going to put two lines down the middle of the paper and sketch them in. And then two lines across, you can use a ruler, but I'm just doing it freehand. And then we have um, nine little squares and we look within each square. And then on our picture, we can try and find where that is. You can put lines on your picture if you want to. Maybe on like Instagram, you can draw them in or on Snapchat. So I'm going to look and try and find where the forehead is. It's just kind of under this first line here in the middle grid. I'm putting the forehead there so that I have room for the flowers above so we're going to sketch out um, to the sides just a little. We don't want to go too far because we want to leave room for the leaves behind us coming down. And then once we hit that next line, that's where the um, jawbone is going to start. So I'm going to just have a little look again and then start to curve the face slightly and come in. So it's like a little triangle in those bottom grids. And then looking back and slowly coming down for the chin, not bringing it too far down. So we've got this nice shape, here, nice head shape here. Um, and I'm going to come up the top and do a bit of the hairline. So we are going to see a bit of the hair before we um, have the flower crown. So just marking in where that darker bit of hair will be. Just lightly, nothing too crazy. <laughs> so we want to leave room for that top bit. And then coming down, I'm just going to mark out the neck. Um, if you make any mistakes, you can just erase it and uh, try again. And we're going to come down with the shoulders. We don't want them too pointy, but we don't want it too masculine either. And then maybe I'll just mark out where the dress is going to be. Beautiful. And then let's do the necklace. I'm just going to put in a few little round circles just around the neck. Lovely. Looks good. Okay, so next up we're going to um, do the face. So I like to grid my face up. So put a line down the middle roughly and then a line across the middle the other way. And that's kind of where the bottom of our eyelids will be, but we'll get to that in a bit. And then another line in the middle of that top section, and that's where our eyebrows are going to be. So we can start to mark them in. Um, if at any point this is too fast, just pause the video and draw it and then come back and we'll keep going. <laughs> so I'm just sketching in those eyebrows and doing the monobrow. <laughs> so this bottom section, we're going to... Um, Start to grid in the lips and the nose and just see where we're going to put them. So I'm going to put a little rough line here. So in that bottom section, another line through the middle. And then I might mark out where the nose is. So kind of either side of that middle line and then the little two dots above that line down the bottom, little circle for the nostril. Yeah, that looks cool. I like it. And so the eyes, we're going to come back to them and do that bottom of the eyelid and then top of the eyelid. So the bottom of the eyelid is going to meet that line that's through the middle of the face. Put some lashes on there if we want. The eyeball, again, bottom of the line, coming up and over, and I'm putting the little lashes in there. And then I'm putting the eyelid, so I'm just putting another line. Yeah. And then the eyelid, uh, eyeball again. Yeah, awesome, guys. This looks good. All right, lips. The lips are a bit tricky, so let's do it. We're going to start with that bottom line there and use that as the middle of the mouth and the lips are going to come under. So the bottom lip is coming under. Just marking that out. You can make it real juicy or 
a smaller lip and then above that a little triangle, little triangle. Done. Super easy. So it's actually pretty easy getting those lips in. Um, and then I'm just going to sketch in where the cheeks will be. But we're going to paint over all of this so we don't have to be too perfectionisty with how it looks. Um, and next to the eyes, we're going to do the ears. And we don't want them too high up or too low down. So pretty much the crease of the eye is just near the top of the ear. Yeah, this looks great. So we're going to put in the earrings. Um, she always got lots of amazing jewelry and we want that Mexican kind of vibe. So in the Spanish vibes, we're going to do a few. There's two big circles here. Um, and then a few little bedazzlements, just super rough on the earring. Great. And I've also chosen to put in a bird. Um, so we're going to sketch in the head, just a rough little circle there. And then a bit of the belly. And keep looking back at your reference picture. Putting in those little feet on the shoulder. Coming back up and doing a little bit of the wing. I'm just kind of making it up as I go, but look back at your reference picture and have a good look and see how it is. And a little bit of the beak and the two eyes. It's super basic, but it's going to look awesome. <laughs> so we're coming up to the flower crown. Um, this bit is kind of the funnest bit to paint, but we're just going to really roughly sketch it in. I'm just doing your basic flowers with your petals, maybe a little leaf, and then some roses. The roses kind of think of like candy canes where you're um, just curling in the middle. So I'm doing a few of them, but I'm keeping it very loose and kind of like a cloud but with a curl in the middle. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. If you want to do real detailed flowers, go ahead and kind of sketch them in. I'm just going pretty basic here. Um, the next step, we're going to be doing a background. So I've chosen leaves. You can really do whatever you want, but let's put in some leaves for this one. So I'm going to mark out little leaf lines. Like it's so rough, guys, but you can take longer you can pause the video and really um work at it but i'm just putting them in super rough because i know that it doesn't matter because i'm going to paint over them um and i think i'm happy with that so let's grab a medium brush and i'm going to grab the dark green and we're going to fill in the areas that don't have anything so if you look at your picture there's some little areas um around the top near the shoulder around near the bird um, that don't have much so these little spots here we're going to start to color them in with some um, darkness I'm going to do a dark green and then maybe add in a little bit of black um, just to a little bit of black here just to darken it up even more so when it's darker then you can kind of have a really nice contrast with the flowers and the um, leaves that are in the foreground of the background. <laughs> so this green color we're doing at the moment is quite dark and juicy. And if you imagine a forest, you would see all these dark colors, but then um, closer to you, you'd see all the beautiful light in the leaves. And um, yeah, we're trying to make everything pop. <laughs> so I'm going to keep adding little bits of black and then green. Um, you can go lighter if you want. I just want that really stark contrast. And being pretty messy, I um, don't I don't want to go like over my drawings completely, my sketches and outlines, but I want to come real close. So it doesn't matter if I accidentally flick over the petal or the leaf a little bit too much because we'll fix it up later and we'll do the flowers on top of the green, essentially. So I think we're nearly there. I'll do those little corners. And see, even if I had made a little mistake here, I can just tidy it up afterwards, but super rough and fun. <laughs> and see, I went over the earrings, but that doesn't matter because we can just go over the top later on. Really coming into that corner. I reckon I'm happy with that. Awesome. All right. So now we're going to do the um, juicier leaves in the foreground. I'm going to grab some light green and some dark green and mixing them together to create kind of like a eucalyptus -y green here and add a bit of water to loosen the paint up and really when you're painting you just want to keep adding bits of water you want it to be too dry with acrylics you can go for that look but I prefer the silky kind of smooth look and I'm just buffing in those leaves kind of coming around the ear there so remember to not go over your ears, <laughs> but you can come real close to them. And then I'm just making a bit more of that color. So I used the light green and the dark green to do that. 
and just buffing in those leaves coming around my roses nice you can take your time with this um, I'm kind of pumping through it <laughs> but you can do it real slow and get it um perfect I just like the like the messier quick look um, I just think it looks more organic and then we've got one last one to do and just filling in those colors around the bird's head great okay so next step coming with the white yeah so put a little bit of white on your palette and a no brush and it can have a little bit of green in it and we're just going to flick a line up the middle and then lines out to the sides and then a line around the leaf again a little line down the middle lines flicking out to the side and a line around the outside and repeat 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 <laughs> I like it to be more of a mint color but you can go full white if you want to um, and when you're doing those flicks out I like to hold the brush down and gently lift up that's what kind of gives it that um, brush stroke look so holding down and flicking off yeah and around the outside cool it actually looks really good I love it we're going to do the bird while we still have green on our paintbrush I've got the light green and I'm going to pump it into his um little chest there so putting in a few little bits of light green just in that chest area the belly and then I'm going to come with the dark green and start to do his wings I'm just doing little push down lift up strokes kind of like with the leaves nice I'm going to grab some white and just put a little bit of splashes through maybe a little bit in the chest not too much <laughs> and then I'm going to grab the light green again tiny bit of orange maybe a bit of white in there and start to mix it around for the head I kind of just liked a little bit of orange in it um I don't know why <laughs> you don't have to but I just felt like putting in a tiny dash just to mix up the colors and just starting to pump that through covering the whole head you can cover the eyes even if you cover the beak it doesn't matter we'll fix it later washing the brush yeah it looks really cute let's change our water all right we got fresh water it feels so good <laughs> So our next step, um, we are going to grab some more white paint and um, I'm going to put a little, quite a, maybe quite a bit in there because we're going to do the skin and we really want to cover our lines. Hopefully our lines are not as dark as mine because we used pencil. Um, I'm going to grab my medium brush. So skin color, I'm going to use a bit of orange, a bit of brown. mix that together and then my skin has pink undertones so we're going to have a dash of pink maybe we put in a little bit too much maybe we mix it around we want kind of just like a nice even skin tone think about makeup and when you're blending <laughs> so I'm going to put a little more orange in there maybe a dash more brown so it's starting to get a bit closer. Even if you look at my hands in the video, it's getting pretty close to them. Maybe a little bit more brown. And some white. So it is a mixing game. <laughs> Just remember orange, brown, pink, and white. All right, let's buff in this skin color. So I'm just gonna go straight on there. Um, you can go way slower, but I, I like to pump it in. I'm putting bits of white as well through it so I've got my base color which I put on now and in certain spots above the eyes covering the lid so cover the eyelid a little bit of white so every so often I'll take the white and I'll just put it on there to give some highlights to give a little change in the skin tone and just blending it through a little bit more white under the eyes So it might look a bit scary at first, um, but eventually we'll just start blending it all through. 
And even if it looks too pinky or too brown or too orange, then add a little more pink if it's too orange or if it's too brown. Add a little more brown if it's too pink, too orange. <laughs> so it's, um, it's a bit of a game, but you'll get the hang of it. Skin color is super hard. So I just keep mixing and keep looking at the color and adding little highlights. I just love highlighting. I always put a little bit um, just under the brow, around the nose. Um, you can look at the picture as well and have a look and see a little bit closer where I've put them. Um, every time's a little bit different, but I like a little bit on the chin and the cupid's bow um, near the cheekbones as well. So we just start to blend it a little more here. Blending the colors. Covering the nose. So we don't want any white bits left of the paper. We really want to cover everything um, and make it all one beautiful skin tone. I definitely sound like a makeup artist when I'm doing this. <laughs> Probably a really bad one. <laughs> but um, it works for me. So I just keep on blending. This is a bit of a process. So you can pause the video and really work at it um, if it's a little bit too fast. And just blending the chin again. I think I'm kind of happy with that. Who knows? I might come back later <laughs> and fix it up. So get a darker color, a bit of that brown, and put it under the chin. We go darker because there's a shadow usually just under the chin. So I'm going for a darker color here. Doesn't matter if I kind of go over my necklace. So it's quite. it might be quite dark. I'm going to add in a little bit of orange just to juicy up the skin tone. Yeah, that actually looks pretty cute. I like that color. Maybe I might put a little more orange into the skin afterwards. So I'm just getting more of the white and I'm doing white on the other side. Not completely white, it's got a bit of the other colors still mixed on my brush. So you can see it kind of gives a darker look on one side. So I might just buff in a little bit of paleness there, break it up, maybe a bit of a collarbone with some white. So be playful, don't like, don't worry too much. <laughs> Just keep in adding the colors as you see them. Yeah, that looks cool. I really like that orange, so I might come back and put some of that through the face. And then I can just kind of, I don't know, give her a bit more of a tan kind of color and less of a brown pink color. So I'm gonna add in a tiny bit more. Um, I'm just adding it in where I think it might look good, maybe through the cheeks. I might put a little bit above the eye and on the forehead and then down near the chin and the other side. So this is kind of, yeah, I like this color a little bit more. So don't think once you've done the skin, it's all over because you can come back and put a bit of water on your brush and um, play around with it. So that, yeah, that looks really cute. I think I like this. It's hard to know when to stop. <laughs> Maybe a few little highlights here and there. Yeah, that's pretty. A little bit on the chin again. So I'm really just playing. I'm just playing at the moment. I think I should stop playing. <laughs> and now we'll do the ears because I always forget the ears. So we're going to pump them in. Um, maybe a little bit of a darker color, but still pretty much skin tone. Um, just not too white. Alrighty. I like this. This is pretty. Take your time if you need to, though. <laughs> Alrighty. So, washing our brush a little bit. I like to tap it on the edges so many times. <laughs> We're going to grab the pink. I'm still using my thick brush, but you can use your little one. And a bit of light pink. Water it down. So we're making a light pink color here. And this is going to be our cheeks, and it's just going to go straight on top of that skin color. We worked so hard for the skin color, and now we're just going over it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so even if it's too light, you can add in a little more color. Um, it really depends what look you want to go for. In the um, little picture I did before, I went quite bright with the cheeks. This one, I think I'm going to go a little lighter. Um, I might add in a tiny bit more color. But yeah, I think I'm going to go lighter for this one. Again, let's grab some more dark pink on our brush. We're going to do the lips. So I'm just going to color in that bottom lip with the dark pink and then I'm going to do the top and it just looks so super cute. I might use this little brush though, the 
the big one was um, kind of hard and tricky, so go to the little one if you need to. Yeah, that's so much easier. My gosh, I wish I started with that one in the first place. <laughs> so just colouring that in. You can create like a little smile, a little flick at the end if you want to. I'm kind of going to keep mine subtle and like mysterious. Yeah. They are cute. But you can make them big juicy lips too. <laughs> Alrighty. So a little more pink and we're going to colour in the t-shirt. Um, you can do whatever colour. I'm going to go for a pink though. It's such a good colour. Colouring in all the pink bits. Buffing them in. Amazing. Can go over a few times. I just went over twice, so it's a bit darker. I love it. Ah, oh, so good. All right, let's get rid of that pink color. <laughs> Washing the sides of our brush a little in the jar. I just like to wipe it there a bit, quite a bit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All righty. I'm gonna grab some of the brown on my brush. Might need to water it down a little bit, get some of that brown paint. And I'm going to start to do the hair. And if it's too light, like I don't like the light color of the brown, I'm going to add in some black. And start to put a little bit of black through the hair. Um, if it gets too dark, you can leave it if you like it, or you can um, get a bit of white and brown again and start to put it through. It's really up to you. Um, but I like this darker color. Again, I just love contrast. I love like strong colors against other strong colors. So let's pump that in. And I'm just putting yeah, a little bit of highlight in there. Cool. I like that. Awesome. <laughs> Great. So next um, step, we're going to grab the black. I'm just going to wash my brush a little, but it doesn't matter too much because it's pretty close color. Grab some black onto my brush. Yeah, that should be enough. And I think we'll just put in the eyebrows. So let's do a few little flicks here. We're going for the mono brow, the classic Frida mono brow. Um, and we're going to just bring it across and fill in those eyebrows. You can go for like one thick straight line. I like to do the kind of hairy look. Um, but it's up to you what brow you want to go for. You can even just Google some. I kind of like this look. The like kind of fluffy mono brow. <laughs> so I'm going to grab some black paint now on my brush. I got the black here and I'm going to start to fill in some of the um, other elements. So let's do a little line through the lip in that black, very thin line. And I like to put a little dash on the bottom, maybe a tiny bit on the top of the lips. And then the two little dots in the nose. And a little bit of a circle. Yeah, that little half moon. And then I'm going to add a little line up the nose on each side. Um, noses are hard, but it looks pretty good. I like it. <laughs> and I'm going to grab some brown now. Um, I don't want it too, too dark, so feel free to add in a little bit of um, white or orange. And I'm going to color in the middle of the eye with the brown paint. And then the other one, the same as well. Yeah, that's really nice. Awesome. I like that. Perfect. Okay, so concentrate. <laughs> Let's do the bird's little feet. Um, I just put in a few little lines there. Washing the brush again, coming to our orange now. Um, I've got a nice kind of darkish orange here. I'm gonna put in the earrings, so we're just gonna color them in. Nice and thick with the paint. Just getting that color in there. Mine kind of goes over the bird a little bit, which is cute. I like the look of it. And then doing the other side. It looks awesome. Okay, nice. And then doing a few little droplets. Um, don't worry if they look kind of shocking, but we will fix them in a bit. We'll just put those orange drops on top and then come to the white. And that's when we can make the magic. We can highlight, highlight around the sides. And then on the little droplets, it turns into like a light orange. It's super pretty. Ah, looks so good. 
Um, and we're going to do the same thing to the necklace. Start with the dark orange. Even if your orange is like a really light um, at the end, we'll put in the white on top. So you'll see that kind of highlight. So I'm just putting in little dots on top of the orange, coming back to a darker color. And then grabbing the white little dots, little highlights, and then a nice big chunky highlight for the necklace. Awesome, washing the brush. <laughs> and now we're gonna grab um, back to our black. Alrighty, so I like the paint to be quite soft here for the eyes, not too watery, but soft enough. We're gonna do the eyeliner and a little bit of the eye crease. So I'm doing the crease first. Awesome. Doesn't matter if it's uneven, nothing's perfect. <laughs> so I've just done the crease of the eye and now I'm gonna do the rim of the eye. Yeah, little lash, lash, lash. Oh, the lashes look so good. I really like them. All right, and then another bit of eyeliner on the other side around the rim of the eye, splashing in those lashes. So the lashes look good over the little lid. So do remember to put the lid in. Yeah, nice. And then we're gonna do the a bit under the eye. So giving a bit of black eyeliner. You can go like a full dark charcoal look um, or just a little line. <laughs> and then around the eyeball, around the um, brown color, just on the outsides. Yeah, I like that. That's really pretty. So back to the black, we're going to um, outline pretty much anything we feel. So I'm going to go all the way down the face, around the ears. I'm going to come down the jaw. Again, the other ear, down the jawline, the chin. going to do the neck, down the shoulders. So it's just, it's kind of fun. I like this bit. It makes everything pop. Lines down the t-shirt. If you don't like it, if you don't like how it looks, then um, you don't have to put it in. If you've done like a really beautiful job and you just don't want to ruin it with a um, black next to it. But I just like to put it on there. I'm going to put it in a little bit of the earrings. Nothing too crazy, just in little areas. Just so it starts popping a little more. Yeah, that's cute. Remember to keep putting a bit of water on your brush as you put the black on but not so much that it drips everywhere. <laughs> um, and we're just going to outline a little bit of the bird just around his head and down near the wings and through the tail. I mean, just little splashes. Um, and let's rinse our brush. I'm going to grab some white, a little bit of yellow. We're going to do the beak of the bird, so a tiny bit of yellow. And just drawing that little triangle. Maybe a little more white in there. Cute. Ah, oh, it looks so adorable. <laughs> I'm just putting a few more highlights through in the white while it's on my brush. Maybe in the little toes. Um, I like how that looks though. Washing our brush again. <laughs> Alrighty, grab a little dash of white. And we're going to put a bit of white around the eye um, if you have lines. So I've got a few lines going through them. And I just want it to look really complete and whole. And then grabbing a little more white and doing a dot on the corners of the eyes. So I've gone on the right corner and the right corner of both eyes. And a little dash through the lips. So kind of like when you put lip gloss on, you get that shine. Um, we're putting a little bit of shine through the lips. Yeah, that looks so cute and juicy. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Alrighty, <laughs> washing the brush. Let's change our water. It is so gross. Whew. Let's do that. Magic, it is done. So next step, <laughs> I'm going to grab my thicker brush now um, and not too watery. We're going to grab the orange, put a little more color and a bit of water on the, on the brush. Nice, we're going to start to put our flowers on the best bit, the bit we've been waiting for. Um, I'm going dark to light. So like with the jewelry, we did the darker orange. Then I grab some white. 
and I start to highlight. Like, look how good that looks. Oh, it's so yummy. It is juicy, juicy, juicy. So we do that. Really depends what flower you're doing. Maybe you want to take your time a little more. Um, I'm just going full, like, throttle into these flowers, chucking them in wherever I want, a bit of white. So the roses, um, you can just do the darker orange, and I just buff it in using the movement of my brush, a little darker. Then I come with the white paint, and you can start from wherever and just curling out, making little shapes. And it just, like, it's like the simplest rose ever, but it looks so good. Um, I'm going to use some pink now. A little more, perfect. And then I'm going to start to buff in that pink. It's got a bit of orange through it, but it actually looks pretty cute. I like, I like how it looks. Um, and then a little bit of white, and same as we did before, just circling out. And kind of, we don't want it too, too lollipop, like too circular. We, um want it to have a little bit of wobbly, wobbliness. I don't even know if I can say that, wobbliness. <laughs> um, and Okay, so now I'm doing the dark pink. It looks a little better now. It doesn't have too much orange through it. Um, I'm going to put a little more on, really thicken it up. Yeah. That looks really cute. A little more doesn't matter if you go over or you get some paint mixed up I just I kind of like when it does its own thing <laughs> um, and then grabbing the white so I might just rinse my brush a bit get rid of some of that color so I can come straight into the white again and I'm going to put some of that on my brush and then um, I'm going to just go from the middle and do the wobbly line on the outside and the inside um, you can start from outside to inside or you can just go however you want you can do literally whatever you want it's up to you <laughs> have your creative goddess shine through so we kind of have done the flowers um now I'm gonna probably put in a few leaves here and there just to so it's not so just like a thick flower crown we want a little bit of juicy leaf through there I'm grabbing my light green and just adding them in um Maybe if I didn't, if I paint it over by accident or I think it needs a little more, I'm just going like, to put a random one here. <laughs> Wherever I feel like it, maybe a random one here. It looks cute. And then I'm going to wash my brush a little again. That water is getting gross. <laughs> and put some more white paint in my palette because I'm running out. And I'm going to highlight these leaves kind of like remember we did at the beginning with the background. So I'm putting a little bit of white. And I think I'll just do a simple kind of yeah and let's try another one let's just do a line and the outside yeah that's cute so maybe just a line down the middle and then the outside if you have lots of room or like a bigger canvas you can do what we did at the beginning with the line and the little bits coming out depends it depends I kind of I like both I do like both oh my gosh it looks so good already <gasps> I love it yay <laughs> okay Getting the tiny brush, grabbing some black. The final steps, we're nearly there. We're gonna put in our little birdie's beak, putting a line down the middle and two little dots and two little dots for the eyes. He is so cute, I love him. <laughs> and then we're gonna outline, do a little dot in the middle maybe and then start to outline the flowers. Um, this is really up to you this bit again I'm just outlining because I like it but if you don't like it leave them all fresh and groovy looking but um, I'm gonna make everything pop and give it a nice outline with the black paint um, if you don't like the painted look you can get a nice thick texture and do it too once the paint's dried um, but I'm just gonna keep it all acrylic so around the sides around the leaves I think yeah I think it's good I really like it oh my gosh <gasps> we're done we did a Frida Frida fantastic I love it all right I'm gonna stop singing but <laughs> hopefully you had fun pause when you need to it looks so good <laughs> 